Welcome to the first of many Ballistics Bullets video presentations. My name is Don Stevens. I am a precision rifle and accuracy fanatic and run a sideline gunsmithing organization. I was asked by Team Ballistics to do today a short talk on the technical specifications of the new and exciting range of ballistic bullets. The first point up for discussion is just high level bullet specifications. Ballistics bullets are utilizing CNC manufacturing technology and produce monolithic metal bullets with tolerance levels better than 7 microns on geometry. To put that into perspective, a human hair will typically measure 10 microns. You can then rest assured that your batch to batch consistency will be always perfect with ballistics bullets. Let's talk about the material. Ballistics bullets utilize pure copper alloy. It does not contain lead. As you might be aware, there's strong international environmental legislation during the rounds where all forms of lead, called lead containing ammunition, is on the ban. The interesting note is that the monolithic material is about 10 to 15 percent lighter in weight compared to its counterpart lead filled or lead core bullets. This is very important to know when selecting the bullet for your rifle's twist because you will typically end up with a bullet of same length but a lighter weight. Let's talk about one of the unique features of a ballistics bullet. As you can see, the bow tail looks different. It's got a step in it. We refer to this as a rebated bow tail design. Let me tell you why this is a good idea. Flat based bullets are traditionally considered to be the most accurate short range bullets and bow tail bullets are designed to give you improvement in ballistic coefficient and hence give you a better long range accuracy potential. By merging those two designs into one you get the best of both worlds. Let me tell you how it works. As gas exits the barrel with a bullet in front of that, the higher velocity of the gas will flow over the bullet due to its laminar flow capability. It will create a lot of turbulence in front of the bullet or dirty air as we talk about and that will destabilize the bullet and it will have to fight its way through that cloud of dirty air. If you can disrupt that gas flow to flow over the bullet by having a step on the bow tail, a lot of that gas will be deflected away from the bullet immediately creating cleaner air in front of the bullet and an accuracy yield of up to 15% can be expected. Let's talk about the Ballistics Bullets Ojive design. This bullet follows the well-known and proven tangent design which is less sensitive to bullet seating depth. Another benefit of this bullet is that because it does not follow a ball rider design Conventional comparative tools can be very effectively used to determine the optimal bullet seating depth for your rifle's premium accuracy. The bullet's bearing surface is of an optimized low friction drive band design. This design yields very little copper fouling and much less operational pressures. As always, all ballistic bullets are within SAMI specifications. Let's quickly talk about the color difference of these two heaps of bullets on the table here. Ballistics bullets offer HBN coating as a standard on, on its full product range. The shiny copper on my left hand is untreated bullets and the opaque colored bullets on my right hand side are all HBN treated bullets. What is HBN? HBN stands for hexagonal boron nitrate. HBN is considered an excellent high temperature lubricant. It promotes less pressure and less fouling compared to untreated bullets. HBN promotes consistency. You can expect smaller extreme spreads and improved accuracy. HBN is an inert product. Unlike other coating agents, HBN will not react with moisture and form harmful substances that can chemically erode your barrel. HPN coating is a very clean process and unlike other coating products, it does not leave any messy residues. 
Unlike other well-known coating materials, HPN has got a much higher temperature resistance. It will typically not gas out in your barrel and bind to your barrel. This in turn promotes very easy barrel cleaning. 